I want to talk about components of a vector. Components are two vectors that add up to the given vector, which are perpendicular to each other. So let's start with an example. Here's, a, say, a force vector. I can draw two components, which are two other vectors that add up to my force F. So these two work. All right, I'm drawing them head to tail so you can see that they add up to force F. And they're perpendicular. So those are the only two requirements for vectors to be components. Let's call this vector A and this one B. So we see that A plus B equals F. So that's the one requirement for components. The two components have to add up to the original vector. And the other one is that the two are perpendicular. A and B are perpendicular, sometimes called orthogonal when you're talking about vectors. Okay, but one of the things that we're going to need to be able to do is to find horizontal and vertical components. So those are very specific components, and of course, when you, um, you're guaranteed to get components if you take a horizontal and vertical vector that add up to your original vector f. So let's call this one h and this one v. It's clear here that h plus v also equals f. Right? In both of these pictures, these are the same forces. But you can see that I have two different sets of components here. And then h and v are, of course, perpendicular. So again, the two, two requirements for components are that the vectors add up to your original vector f and that they're perpendicular to each other. We'll be finding components in this lesson.